If you use Canva to design for your business, then you're going to love these 10 tips and tricks for using Canva that I've learned over the last few years using them. My last Canva tips and tricks video got over 100K views and hundreds of comments in the first few weeks. And so I wanted to make this part two and hopefully I can live up to the same end of the bargain where I teach you at least one new thing that you didn't know about Canva, even if you're a regular user. But if you haven't used Canva before, I do have a free 30-day trial for you down in the description and I'll also link part one of this video because I definitely would go back and watch that one if you haven't seen it just yet. So let's dive right into tip number one. In part one of this video, I showed you how you can go to coolers.co and you can generate different color palettes to use within your designs. You can then screenshot these and upload it right into Canva. So that way Canva then uses their AI features to pull in that color palette so you can use it right within the design that you're using. But let's say you fall in love with this color palette and you wanna keep using it. You could go one by one and save each of these hex codes into your color palettes area by clicking edit and you could add them hex code by hex code one by one so this is a saved color palette for you but I have a hack to do this even quicker. From Canva's homepage, I want you to come down to brand. Then you'll select your brand kit, and right here you'll drag and drop or upload that screenshot that you took of the color palette that you like. Now they're going to add those color palettes to your Canva account. That way you can quickly and easily access these anytime you're designing without having to pull in this screenshot every single time. Now if you wanna add more into here, all you need to do is then delete your logo colors, and then it will keep what you already saved and now you can drag and drop more right into this box. Hack number two has to do with finding other graphics to match the ones you're already using within your design. So there's a few ways you can do that. You can use the magic recommendations from Canva, which will bring in similar graphics from lots of different users, but they may or may not be an exact style match. The other way that I showed you in the other Canva video is to click info and then click view more by this designer. And then you could type down and go to celestial and really screen down what they're looking for. But the other possible way to get there a little bit quicker is to click this info button when you're on a graphic that you want to see more of. And if it's a part of a collection of matching graphics, you'll see view collection. And so that'll immediately bring you to the collection of graphics that are all part of this exact same graphic pack. So it's just one hack to find graphics that match the one you're working with just a little bit faster. Hack number three will be great for you if you make mock-ups for your business. So if you're a print-on-demand seller like I am and you make mock-ups of the items that you're selling, then this is going to be a hack that you'll love. Now, if you're not familiar with what a mock-up is, this is a mock-up right here. It's a picture of a blank item that you're then going to put your design on digitally to pretend it's already made. And then it actually gets printed by the print production partner once your customer orders it. I use a company called Printify and I'll link them down below in the description for you if you're interested in getting into print on demand. I even have a free mini course that teaches you how to set all of that up if you're interested. So when you're making your mock-ups, the first time you make them, you'll place it in the exact right spot that you want it. You want to lower the opacity a little bit to make it look like the ink is actually sunken into the shirt. And then usually you'd then delete this and add a new design and you'll have to resize it and lower the transparency again. But one hack is you can actually just drag and drop the new design right into the exact same spot and now it already has the lowered transparency and it's in the exact same spot as the original design that you put there. Now there is one caveat if you see this here you have to put your design all the way to the top of your canvas or else it will kind of get weird if you don't put your designs in the same spot every time that you're saving them then this might not be the perfect fit for you but again just quick and easy sometimes you'll still have to edit them a little little bit for the best placement if it's a really different design than the one that you have, but this can save you a ton of time when you're making your mock-ups. 
And this also works for replacing any item within a design. If you're switching out graphics and you already applied different things to it, this will apply all of the same effects. Tip number four was inspired by all of the retro inspired items for sale that you see online right now. These retro characters are all the rage and it's hard to find exactly just the right one that you need sometimes for your designs. And so I'll show you exactly how to create these characters out of any graphics right on Canva. So Valentine's Day is coming up at the time of me recording this video. And so I created these two little cute graphics of retro characters with eyes and hands and feet holding hands. This would be a great Valentine's plus coffee type shirt graphic. Now I'll show you exactly how I created these. So I just went and looked for Valentine's Day graphics and I found some cute hearts and then I found a cute coffee. So just look through and find something that it would make sense to add arms and feet to. For this example, I'll use the exact same graphics that I made my original design with. So these are just a regular heart and a regular little coffee. And then what you do is you search for retro faces and you can find lots of cute different faces that you can add to your designs. So you can really look through them. There's a ton on here that are just super, super super cute and you can place them on your design until you find one that you really like and makes sense for your graphics. Then all that's left to do is add the hands and the feet. So again, you just say retro feet and you'll find a ton of really cute options as well. And then all you need to do is make sure you place them behind the main graphic. So you can go to position and drag them behind the graphics. That way it is underneath the graphic that you're looking at. And you'll just keep doing that with arms and feet until you find some that really make sense. So we'll add some feet to this guy. We'll do some retro arms. Again, I really like this cute arm holding one. It's the wrong color. It's kind of more blue than my design is. So I'll change it to black and then I'll find them each one additional retro arm. So let's say I want this one to be doing the peace sign. You might need to kind of change the size a little bit. And then I want this one over here to have a regular arm. Um, you can use the flip feature to make it face the right direction. And then again, lastly, I just need to make sure to put all of those behind the actual graphics so they look more real. So I'll drag all of those down here. And then there you have it. I have a super cute retro design in just a few seconds. So you can take any graphics and make your own retro characters for your designs. Tip number five is how to create QR codes that people can scan to see more specific things that you want to promote in your shop. To make a QR code on Canva for free, all you do is come up to the elements and type in QR code. And it's going to bring up this app, QR code, and all you need to do is enter a URL. Let's say you wanna add a page to your listing that says check out our store for more great gift ideas. One really great way that you can do this is come to your marketing tab in Etsy and come to share and save. And right here, you can copy your unique link for your share and save program. If a customer clicks this link or clicks this QR code and then shops your store, you'll actually save up to 4% of the Etsy fees for bringing the traffic yourself. So coming back over to Canva, we'll type that URL code right here and click generate code. So now we actually have a QR code box that if a customer scans with their phone, they'll get access directly to your Etsy shop. Now you don't wanna put just a QR code, obviously you wanna say what it is. So what we could do is come over here to design and we can look down through the different templates to see if there's one that would make sense to promote a couple of the other types of products that we have that are popular in our store or we think could be relevant. So let's say we'll click this one for instance, and then we will come and drag some of our product photography into here because these are just replaceable photos. So I'll just drag some of my mock-up store images right into here. And then we would paste that QR code that we just created and change these words to say, check out our store for more great gift ideas. 
And now you just post this in your Etsy listing as one of your photos and they can just pull out their phone if they're on their computer, scan it and it'll bring them right to your store to see everything else that you have for sale and then you'll get that share and save discount. Hack number six is using Canva's find and replace feature. Now this one could potentially be an absolute game changer if you're making lots of designs for your store. So let's say you're trying to get into the sports niche. I would create some designs like this. It says caution, may talk about pickleball at any time, eat, sleep, pickleball, repeat, or this is my pickleball shirt, just for example. So I create these ones, I'll save these and post them in my store. But let's say I also want to create create all of these for football or our basketball. Instead of just using the bulk create feature, because it doesn't always save you tons of time if you're not sure exactly what you're gonna be going into next, you can just go to your computer and say Command F if you're using a Mac like me or Control F. And you can do Find Pickleball and Replace, say, with Basketball. And you can say Replace all. So now in just the click of a button, all of my designs say basketball instead of pickleball. So now I can just save these designs and upload them to my store. And if I want to create more, I can quickly and easily come back and change that word out for anything else. Now I'd love to hear from you watching so far. If you are loving this tutorial and you've learned something new that you think is useful, please write love it down in the comments below. And if you haven't, just say not yet. So tip number seven has to do with creating videos for your Etsy listings. And if you're not familiar with what Etsy listing videos are, it's when you're looking through the search results, you'll see this little play button down in the corner. And if you hover over their listing, it starts to actually play the video. And so this can be really eye catching when you have videos for your listings. Not everybody does, so it's not a must have, but if you don't have the products on hand, this can be a really great and easy way to create product videos for or your listings to help catch people's attention without having to have the products on hand. Now Canva does have a great magic animate feature and I'll show you exactly how to use that right now. But you could create videos using this with any images that you have as well. So clicking on one of your images, you do need to save these as a JPEG and then re-upload them to Canva. So now the design is actually part of the picture. You can't just do this within your regular mockups where the design is not actually connected connected because then this won't work quite as well. The design won't actually look like it's connected. So now you can click the first photo and click this animation button and you can click magic animate. And this is going to give you some recommended styles. So if I like the handmade style, it's going to animate all of these. Now my video, since I happen to have five pages, is exactly 15 seconds long. And that's how long your Canva videos can be in your listings. So if yours aren't 15 seconds long, make sure that you edit the timing. So for me, I need each photo to take up three seconds and you can click apply to all pages. So make sure you edit this so your video is not more than 15 seconds. And don't worry about sounds because there's no sound in your Etsy videos. Then you can click this play button to preview what the video is going to look like when someone hovers over your listing well in the search results. So it's going to apply some different fun effects and you can edit this. This is a simple and easy way to have an Etsy video in your store. So our last three hacks aren't just Canva that we need to use. We will use two other softwares, but they are completely free. And these are some really cool effects that if you didn't know how to do them in Canva will take you seconds when maybe you thought they'd be a lot more complicated. The first one's going to be adding a grunge effect to your designs. So coming here to Canva, let's say you have a text design that you'd like to add kind of that grungy look to. You can actually just type grunge into the search bar and you're going to see a ton of different textures that you can then add on top of your design. So for this one, I want to actually make this white instead of black. And then we're going to put this in front of the black text. So I'm gonna drag that over top of your text and you'll see right now it looks like it's cut out little pieces. But if you turn the background black, if you actually saved this, then you'd see all of these white pieces. And so we need to delete those white pieces and I'll show you how to do that super quick and easy. So click share, 
download, select the page that you're actually working on, and you can do transparent background or not. I always just get in the habit of doing that and click download. Then you're going to come over to this free website that is remove-white-background.imageonline.co. And I'll put that down in the description too. So this is super simple. All you do is upload your image, and I like to bring the white level all the way to the top and then just click remove white background. And now all you have to do is download your image. Now when I add this design to my mockup, you can see the color of the shirt right behind it. Now if you want this to be white instead of black, then super easy, you can go to edit photo, come down to duo tone, you can select any of the other colors and then just drag these colors both to white and now you'll have a white design instead of a black one. Now tip number nine, I get asked this one all the time and that's when you do overlapping text. So like here I have teachers overlapping the word above it. How can I make it have a transparent border around the letters so that it's easier to read? Now we're gonna use that exact same software that I just showed you, but this time, so just for this word teacher, we're going to click effects and give it a white outline. So change this to white and then now you're going to change the thickness. So you can decide just how much you want the thickness around your letter to be. So for me about 19 for the thickness makes a lot of sense for this design. So then we do exactly what I just showed you in hack number eight. So all we do is click share download and then we're going to save the page that we're working on and we'll go back to that website to delete the background again we just hit remove white background download from this website and then we'll have that transparent background around those letters so if we zoom in on this mock-up you can see now there's a space around the letters so they don't collide just so much so for hack number 10, we're going to show you how to make those retro wavy fonts that are oh so popular all over Etsy. So for this one, all you need to do is save a design that you have that you want to make wavy. So I'm gonna use this one that I used from the earlier example. And then we need to go use a website called Photopea or Photop, however you wanna say it. And this is a completely free version of Photoshop. So this you just use right in your browser and it only takes a moment to do this. Trust me, it is so easy. So all you do is click open from computer and select the design that you want to edit. Once you're in Photopea, all you need to do is go to edit, go down to transform, go down to warp. So again, edit, transform, warp. And here you'll come to the style and come down to this wave button. So now this is a little bit extra wavy than I'd really recommend. It's about 50%. So you'll come up here to bend and I usually like to bring mine somewhere closer to around 20, 25%. So now you have that nice, cute, subtle wave that is just super popular all over Etsy. So you can make tons of designs with using this, and it just adds that little bit extra to make your designs really look amazing. Once you have it at just the right amount of wave that you want, you'll come to File, come to export as and save it as a PNG. And then now you're ready to upload that to your designs after you click save. I really hope that you all love this tutorial and really did learn something new. If you didn't learn anything new, feel free to let me know down in the comments below or let me know which was your favorite hack. And if you have any ideas of things you'd love to learn how to do in Canva in the future, definitely let me know that as well because I'd love to keep creating Canva hacks videos like this. That'll be super helpful for you. And if you do want to keep seeing more videos like this in the future, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe so you can see more from me in the future. Or feel free to go to my website, cassiejohnson.com to see all the different resources that I have there for you, like my free mini course on exactly how to get started with your print on demand business my bigger course that comes with a private community and over eight hours of lessons, my income and expense report, or my niche calendar. I've got lots of great resources for you there. And as always, I appreciate you staying all the way until the end, and I'll see you in the next one.